friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you all here. Uh, it's been a very hot minute since I've made my monthly favorites. I believe that last time it was in 2018. Yes, I think it was February 2018. I only stuck with them for two months when I started making them. But recently I've been very drawn to start making them again. In these tough times I believe that we really need to take some uh, time and dedicate some effort to, to finding enjoyment and pleasure in small little things that surround us. So I decided that I will speak to you about my favorites, some things that made this past month of November more uh, interesting and more pleasurable for me while I was working from home and creating content and working on my book and everything. And I will speak to you about my book in the future video because this one I would love to, for it to go live today. And today is the 30th of November. It's the last day of November. Anyways, let's speak about my favorites for the month of November. I will start with incense. Uh, it was not a recent purchase. It was a gift from my friend from Lithuania who came back here to Palermo in uh, summer in the summer. And when she came back, she brought me and my friend these uh, incenses from there. And because uh, she's from Lithuania and I'm from Ukraine, and we both are more from, you know, this uh, different type of uh, nature. So with the lakes and forests and uh, all the beautiful smells of the nature that you don't really feel here because here in Mediterranean climate everything is so different. So she brought me this one. Uh, it's called uh, Frege, I think, because it's written in Lithuanian. From here, from the description, I can only understand one word and I believe that it's uh, made from cedar because it's the same word in Ukrainian. But look how cool is it. You see? It called smells like spells. And how cool is this packaging? It's like a tube, like a test tube, like this, and uh, you have a cork uh, top. I have the last one only, and they don't smell like the typical incenses uh, that they use in the temples, like in Thailand. I know that from when I was living there, or in India, or in Nepal, or anywhere. It smells just exactly like our nature, so the nature of uh, forest and moth, and I don't know, a little bit of campfire, and like just this smells of the forest, beautiful. I will uh, do my best to link their company down below if I will find it. So yeah, this is my first favorite. Then I have two crystals, uh, even though they're technically the same crystal because they're both made of, out of uh, rose quartz, which is one of my favorite crystals ever. I just really relate to this like rose uh, heart energy. The first one is this uh, rose quartz gua sha. I have it for some time now, I believe like for about one year and a half. And it, it was the same set with the roller. Uh, rose quartz roller for the face and I really fell back in love with them this month especially with this one because I really like to the feel of the crystal in my hand and I just use it as a normal crystal and I use it also to massage my face and my neck and I will try to link some sort of a set like that if you're interested by the way I'm not using any affiliate links for now and I don't so like if I will start using affiliate links I will let you know for now I'm not using any affiliate links so you can just click them and don't think that they have any hidden agenda behind linking any of the products and the second one is this one it's this rose quartz angel and I know that this is one of the quite typical shapes of crystals I found it absolutely accidentally also quite some time ago in a shop that sells uh, jewelry and crystals here in Palermo and I set an intention a few days before that uh, that I would love to find a rose quartz crystal that is perfect for me and there they have keychains that are uh, shaped in the shape of heart like quite heavy crystal heart and I was thinking that I will pick up that one uh, the rose quartz heart but when I went there with my friend I saw this one which was kind of like the answer to all of my prayers to me it looked like a message from my angel my guardian angel so I picked it up and I'm so happy with it. And recently, why I speak about them now? Because recently I started getting more into my crystals again. I picked up some new crystals. So I had a chance to cleanse all of my crystals and charge them with my singing bowl. So this one is one of my absolute favorite ones. I really love it. It's so dainty and so beautiful. Then I have a few clothing pieces. I will try to pass through them quite fast. Uh, first one is this... Uh, blue knit cardigan. I really like this uh, cardigan. I wear it as a sweater basically like sometimes I wear some sort of like long sleeve t-shirt underneath because it's quite open and um, I just tuck it in into my jeans and I really like the look 
and you can also wear it as a cardigan you can wear it as, uh, as a sweater as a cardigan i'm not sure uh, if i really like the buttons themselves i think that maybe i will change them but for now this is one of my absolute favorites for this month and i wear it a ton i wear it a ton for all the skype calls and zoom calls and it really helps to feel more put together even if i'm wearing sweatpants on the bottom then i have this sweater it's kind of um I don't even know how to describe this color. It's a little bit, it's kind of a white beige cream all together. And it just, it feels so chic. It was not expensive at all. And it's something that I wanted for a very long time. And I don't know why I didn't make the move before to buy it. But it looks amazing with jeans. It looks amazing with the, the one faux leather skirt that I own. I never like how it looks with some golden necklaces, like the ones that they have today. And it just, it looks amazing under coats, under all types of jackets, under blazers, under my trench, under my faux leather jacket. And it just proves to me once again that I'm a very minimalist person in my aesthetic. For me, something like this, something super simple, but something that I can use in so many different ways, will always be something more fancy and more decorated and more uh, trendy and whatever. And the last fashion item is like fashion. <laughs> it's going to be this huge hoodie that they have. It's uh, just a sweater, kind of like, it doesn't have any zip or anything. It has a hood and it has um, this pocket here in the front. And I have it in this ice uh, color, which is kind of uh, a mix between white, beige and mint, I think. I really like how it looks on me. And I also have it in black. And this is something that uh, completely transformed my working from home experience because I'm not the person who has lots of loungewear. And I really uh, started reflecting upon that when we were in the first lockdown. And by the time of this lockdown, I decided that I really need to invest in some cozy pieces because there are days when I maybe have more Zoom meetings uh, online meetings with my partners or with my colleagues and these are the days when I'm going to be wearing something like this cardigan for example and maybe stretchy jeans or I don't know depends but anyways I would love to be more presentable on the top and on the other days I just want to be cozy and comfortable and just snuggle up and do lots of work finish many tasks so these are for the days like that then I have this uh, notebook I'm pretty sure I already showed it to you before in my like hotel self-care routine and stuff like that. This was my gratitude journal for the past almost uh, two years, but considered that I fell out of, uh, I had this spiritual blog that I'm dealing with for quite some time and I was not writing gratitude at all, but now I really got back to it. And the funny thing is that I started, uh, when I started writing gratitude every day again, uh, quite recently in this past one month, one month and a half maybe, I noticed that there are not that many pages left and uh, at one point I had this crazy idea. I sat down and I numbered all the pages uh, with the dates from now on until the new year. And I kid you not, I will show you now, the last page that they have here is for the 31st of January. And then I have uh, just these two pages to write some gratitudes for the year. And it just shows that everything happens in its own divine timing because I just had the right amount of pages to finish this year on a very high vibe note, very high gratitude note. And this notebook, it's from uh, Paper Blanks and it's called, this design is called uh, Poetry in Bloom. I really, really like it. It's, it's not the cheapest one, not the cheapest journal uh, out of the ones that you can find. And you don't need a fancy journal if you want to practice gratitude every day. But sometimes it's also nice to have something like this because every time I look at this journal, I just feel this wave of happiness. It really sparks joy, let's put it like that. Another big favorite of mine for this month was this pen. I hope you can see it, this golden pen. It was a present from my friends for my birthday that was in the end of October. But uh, funnily enough, I spent my birthday actually with my boyfriend basically isolated because my boyfriend was in self-isolation because he potentially could have contacted someone who was infected. So thankfully everything is great, but we spent my birthday together just ordering sushi. And uh, they gave me, my friends gave me this present uh, in, already in November and i really like it it's just the perfect size i really like how it works with my handwriting and i absolutely love the combination of this pen and this notebook so i don't know why it just it looks so beautiful to me uh like 
precious artifacts and something that really helps all the wisdom of the universe to come through. So another big favorite of mine. And the last category will be books. I really want to speak to you about a few books that I finished and two other ones that I'm currently reading. First one will be uh, Shit the Moon Said by Jared Powell the founder of Rhythmia. I honestly was not expecting to like it because I've never been to Rhythmia or I've never done ayahuasca, but there were so many things in that book that really resonated with me. And honestly, I don't find this book like particularly super well written. It's not something that you can read as a good piece of literature, in my opinion, uh, no offense to anyone. It's just a very honest, raw description of where he was and the rock bottom that he hit and how ayahuasca gave him a new perspective on life and all the different um, opportunities and how he created Rhythmia and everything. And I believe that uh, I will make another video about this because I really want to start some sort of a book club here on this channel where I'm speaking uh, particularly like in shorter videos maybe, but to speak about, about the books that really touched me. And I think that this book will be the first one that will make the cut for this series. The second book was uh, Many Lives, Many Masters by uh, Dr. Brian Weiss. And I, again, want to make a separate video about this book just because it, it was really so interesting for me and like, I don't remember who, where I read this word, but I believe it was one of the bloggers that this book was completely unputdownable. And I can fully agree, it was absolutely unputdownable for me. I really enjoyed reading it. And I honestly always had this fascination with past lives. I don't know why. It was so fascinating and so interesting. And I know that I reflected a lot about uh, some of my fears and some of the, um, I don't know, reasons for anxiety that they have in this lifetime. And also really changed my perspective. Uh, I wouldn't say that it completely changed everything that was building up in me until this point in my life, but it really changed my perception of death a little bit. And it made me a little bit less scared maybe. And I will speak about this in my video that will be dedicated to this book. But I definitely recommend you to read it if uh, you're interested in past lives or in healing trauma or just you want a good read because this, this was a nice book. And the third book that I am so fascinated with and I believe that I will make a huge video about it. I will try to document my way through the book and then make my overall maybe thoughts on the whole book. It's this one. It's called uh, The Lotus and the Lily by uh, Janet Connor and I'm reading this book because this is kind of like a workbook for 30 days uh, where you can um, really set yourself for success and the funny thing is that I believe that this book really found me a few years ago but I was a little bit resistant and I didn't want to order it and buy it and have it in my home and it found me again this year in the perfect timing because I started, I ordered it from Amazon recently and I started reading it and I realized that I am starting to read it in exactly the right time because she says that this process of the lotus and the lily, uh, many people, they're doing it in during the advent. So in the uh, end of November and the whole, throughout the December in order to start the new year with the mandala that is the result of the process. And I like literally I ordered it in the end of November. I was just drawn to it again. Like after a few years, it called me again. And this time I was not resistant. I just ordered it and I am working through it. I'm on the day two actually. Yesterday was the day two that I started really working on the tasks and everything. And uh, so I have the book and I have this small notebook that I bought from Hema a long time ago. And I'm working in this book on, on the tasks from this one. I will make a separate video about this, but it's just amazing. Honestly, I'm really, I feel like this book really resonates with me. And it just proves that if you feel called by something, uh, like that, for example, you remember about a book that you heard about five years ago and you just remember it and you feel like, I really need to read it now, do it. Like you, you are called for a reason. You're called to different things for a reason. And I'm also currently reading the second book. Uh, I mean, I think in relation to The Lotus and the Lily, it's the first book uh, of Janet Connor. It's called uh, Deep Soul Writing. And I really absolutely enjoy it. And I will make a video about that one also. And the last thing that I want to show you is uh, this uh, bracelet that I have. Uh, it's made out of uh, agate crystals and also lava stone, this uh, black black stones. They're lava stones. They're very, uh, they have very high porosity and they're very particular if you ever saw them. And this is the bracelet that found me. Again, I was just cold, 
by this bracelet and I knew that I needed to pick it up and uh, take it with me. And you will hear all about it in the video on crystals that is coming your way. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful and interesting for you. Please remember to like this video and share it with your friends who might benefit from it. And subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button down below and also the bell button uh, in order to always receive notifications when I post new videos. Uh, thank you so much once again. Uh, see you in my next video. Ciao!